and hello there internet welcome back uh, to my channel and my playthrough of arkham horror the living card game we are in part seven we're gonna be playing where doom awaits i have some unspent experience uh, see yeah i have some unspent experience i have two experience points i need to get used so let's be doing that let's place some survivor cards two experience points I have upgraded both of my luckies. So that's two pips. Mm. I have no idea what could help me in this playthrough. Scavenging. Hmm. What has been helpful and what hasn't? Maybe upgrade the trench coat. Uh, let's see. Place. No. I can go here. Place. What is upgradable and what is not? been a while uh, last week I was planning to do some playthroughs and both of my children went sick with the colds and stuff not COVID but you know the time is for time is here for little little ones to get sick and all that so time went and I had to focus on that but now we are ready and we're gonna be attempting to finish off this cycle. Uh, can I have? Let's check out Ashcan. I can have survivor cards level 0 to 5, neutral cards level 0 to 5, and up to 5 level 0 cards. So I can't be upgrading the spell or the magnifying glass and such i think i did that wrong last playthrough against all odds it's good maybe get rid of one of the cards here which cards Ain't I using that much? Scrounge, I use a lot. Um, calling in favors, it's not that of a big use for me now as uh, uh, Duke was killed. So I think I'll be removing that and I will. Put in a copy of Against All Odds. Play when you perform a skill test with difficulty higher than a base skill value. Reveal X additional tokens for this skill. X is the difference. Hmm. Yeah. Let's put that in. Let's try that. Recall. Recall. So that is been updated and uh, let's be shuffling this too there we go let's read the scenario you awaken to the sound of screeching fearing the worst you grab your equipment and head out into the streets of dunwich 
As soon as you step outside, you sense a foulness in the cold night air, an awful pungent smell that can scarcely be described, and a heaviness to the atmosphere that makes it difficult to breathe. The citizens of Dunwich have sealed their doors, and the town feels quiet and lonesome. In the distance, a faint glow emanates from a hilltop above the village. You know of this hill from both your interaction with Sebelon and Armitage records. It is called Sentinel Hill. Sentinel Hill. The tales speak of satanic rites being performed there, the rites in which great ritual pyres light up the night sky while the ground rumbles furiously below. Flocks of whippoorwills perch on the rooftops of the village around you, watching ominously as you climb inside Sebelon's old and beat-up truck. As you drive towards Sentinel Hill, more screeching fills the sky with an awful pitch that is painful to your ears. Everything you have read about and experienced in Dunwich has led to this. In the foul ritual Seth seeks to perform has anything to do with what Armitage and his colleagues prevented several months ago. Months back, it involves the favor of an ancient creature, Yog Sothoth. Failing to stop this ritual may spell doom not only to Dunwich, but for the entire world. And here we come, rumbling in this old beat-up truck. Can Ashcan do this? Uh, check campaign log. If Naomi has the investigator's back, proceed to part one. Uh, I don't think she has. Uh, Naomi doesn't have my back at all. So... Um otherwise proceed to set up. So we uh, get a roll cards, yes, base hill ascending path, a sentinel path into play. Well they are there, I have placed it. Then I'm gonna remove one copy of diverging path from the game at random set the other three copies of diverging path aside out of play. Same with altered path. So let's be doing that. We have everything and we have four of these and four of these so let's shuffle take one out shuffle take one out these will be removed out of play put them into the chest for us and i will put these on the side up here Yoink. so that's been done then set Seth Bishop aside out of play. Well, he is out of play in the chest, I guess. And uh, then, based on difficulty level, add the following chaos token. We are at standard, so that's a minus five. Yeah, let's let's add more crap to our bag. Uh, that's a minus five. Yeah, let's be yoinking that in there. Yeah, cool. Depending on the following circumstances, a different version of Act 2 should be used in this scenario. Mm -hmm. Each other version of Act 2 is removed from the game. Check the campaign log if the investigator restored Silas Bishop. Use Act 2 ascending the hill. I don't think we did that either. Uh, no, we have so far just botched everything. If the above is not true, check the campaign log if the investigator failed to recover the Necronomicon or if the Necronomicon was stolen, use Act 2 Ascending the Hill version 2. Was it stolen? Uh, investigator destroyed the Necronomicon actually. <laughs> so, if neither of those above are true, use Act 2 Ascending the Hill version Three. So let's be going up here. We are at Act 2A. Well, we're going to pull that off here. And we have version 1 and 2. And we're going to be using version 3. And put it there. Yes, thank you. And you the boy key. Uh, check the campaign log for each brood of Yog Sothoth that escaped into the wild. Add one doom agenda. I don't think there was any escaping. No brood escaped. Wow. That's just awesome. Let me get this Red Bull up. Important. 
when you are streaming keep your mind clear with some red ball that's some advertising for you check campaign log if the investigators put silas bishop out of his misery remnants of the creature's body have mutated and grown at sentinel hill put one conglomeration of spheres into enemy from the hideous abomination encounter set into play at ascending path shuffle the rest of the set uh, set into the encounter set well the investigator put silas bishop out of his misery did we no i don't think we did uh, we warned the townsfolk no brutes escaped the ritual was completed so meh uh, 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 uh. So we're gonna shuffle the rest of the set into the encounter deck then. As stated, they are here. Let's flip it, flip it, and into this nice encounter deck which we have grown to love so much. Shuffle the remainder of the encounter cards to build the encounter deck, and that is that. Yeah. So we're gonna give ourselves five. Do we have a trauma? Didn't we? I spent the experience, by the way. Yeah, we have a physical trauma. So that's it. Look at all this. Duke, we lost Duke. It's just terrible. Where are we starting? Uh, we are gonna we gonna we gonna be starting at base of the hill. Here we are, at the base of the hill. The long slope of Sentinel Hill rises before you, cresting in the jagged edges of Sentinel Park. Yeah. Uh, base of the hill is connected to each copy of diverging path. Okay. Um, investigate. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, put a random set aside diverging path into play. And of course, we can resign. What is this? The path leading further up the hill is masked. You cannot you cannot move into ascending path. Ah, so we can't be moving up here. So we have to get some diverging path out then. Yeah. Cannot go ascending path. You have to find a diverging path. Uh, so that is it we have shuffled we have shuffled the encounter deck we have five resources so let's be getting some cards let's see there's a weakness we can't start with a weakness in hand nope still can't uh, nope so we are gonna be having evasion attempt no not yet resourceful mm. live and learn not without a fight i think i will do I'll keep live and learn i will draw four new cards and that's my mulligan. There's a fire axe. It's a lucky. And we have Warren Rice. That's good. And we do have Madame Labranche. Of course, a frail old woman is up on Sentinel Hill. She is walking her dog, which I don't have anymore. Mm hmm. So let's be starting then. First action. Let's be putting Warren Rice out there. He gives us plus one intellect. 
helping us get the clues. And also, let's get the fire axe uh, out there. Yeah. That was the second action. Last action. It's a shroud of three. I will try. So that's three against three. The bag says minus one. So, I will play a lucky, because I failed the test, I get plus two to the test, and I get to draw a card, and I draw into not without a fight. Now I can choose if I want to take the clue or set aside a diverging path. I will take a diverging path and I will take the top one. Let's put it there. Let's be. Where do we have these? Here we are, connecting markers. There you go. Because they are connected. Uh, yeah, to each copy of diverging path, of course. And that is it for my first turn. No enemies yet. We're gonna go into upkeep, get the resource and the card. Ah, resourceful, yes. That is great. So we can get our lucky back if we are successful. So good, good, good. Now for the first mythos. Oh, we haven't read these yet. So let's be reading the agenda. Calling forth the old ones. As you approach Sentinel Hill, you hear ancient Latin rites bellowed across the night. The time for action has come. If you cannot stop the sorcerers in Dunwich, who knows what terrors they might unleash upon a world. Twelve Doom and the path to the hill. A vibrant arcane energy fills the air with a bone-rattling chill. The energy swirls around the crushed trail before you and seeps down several other paths before disappearing. Well, those are the paths we are talking about. So, objective, when investigators have collected the requisite number of clues, they must immediately spend them and advance. Hmm. Okay. So... Doom, and we're gonna draw a card. First card will be a Beyond the Whale. So, if my deck is empty, I will take 10 damage, and that will be the end of Ash Can for this playthrough. That's well, that's for sure. So, and it's got Surge, so we draw another card. And we get another Beyond the Whale, and that means uh, if I have one, I will just discard it and draw another one. So we draw into a Frozen in Fear, and that means I cannot play... Well, no. The first time you perform one of the following actions, move, fight, or evade, it costs one additional action, and a test will power at the end of turn to see if I can discard it. Well, I think I will be... Hmm, yeah. So, let's start off with our turn. Should I try... Should I try to investigate? First? I'll try to investigate and I will use these to give me two more intellect. So that's a five against a shroud of three. The bag says minus three. Ah. Hmm. That's crap, you know. Um. 
So I will play Live and Learn. These will be discarded. I will attempt the skill the test again and get plus two skill value. So that will be for a five again against three. Let's see. The bag says, nope, not that one. Let me copy this and put it here. And that is a minus two, minus four instead if it's agenda two. Well, it's not yet, is it? It's agenda one A. Eh? So yeah, we managed to get a clue from the path we are on. Costs us a lot though. Oh, oh, oh. I deleted a card. Let's see, sorry. Sorry about that. Let's um, not be doing that. That was the first action. And I lost a lot of cards. Hmm. Then let's be using two actions to move into here. Slaughtered woods. So down which woods? After you reveal slaughtered woods, take two horror if you have no actions remaining. Wow. Well, I have not, so I have to take two horrors. Ouch. I think I will have Professor Warren Rice take those. Sorry, Warren. And it's one clue here. That's the end of my turn. So I have to test willpower. I have four. Uh, four. four yeah. Okay, let's take four against three. So plus one. So this is discarded. Enemy face, there are none. So a resource and a card. And we find Peter Sylvester. Going into Mythos. Get a Doom. Ancient Evils. Place one Doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. We are at 3 out of 12. As usual, things are ramping up fast. So, let's be starting off with investigating then. That's three against two. Hmm. Well, I will actually draw a card. Doesn't help much. So let's be investigating. Three against two. Bag says minus five, so that's no good. Let's do it again. And three against two. The bag says minus four. No. So both of my attempts to get that clue is futile. Enemy face and upkeep. Finally, I draw into a magnifying glass. That will help us somewhat. New Doom, 4 out of 12. And we have Obscure. <laughs> a fog. Yeah. Yeah, we needed that, I felt. Yes. Obscuring fog in the slaughtered woods. Increasing the shroud with 2. So we're at Trout 4. Yeah, great. Great stuff. Yeah. That means we will be having a test with 3, 4 against 4. Well, 
Well then, let's be going back to the path. And let's be investigating the path, and I'll play a fast action playing the magnifying glass. So I will have two, three, four against three. So that will be four against three. Bag says, auto fail. I have a feeling the game is against me today. Kind of itchy feeling. Last action, trying again, four against three, and I get a clue, finally. That was not easy, but I get it. And that will means that I will advance, spend them, uh, immediately spend them at advance. So let's be doing that. During your search through the wooded paths around the base of Sentinel Hill, you come across a startling sight. A herd of sheep lays dead upon the ground in a secluded clearing, their bloodied carcasses placed in a strange but careful pattern. Holding your nose against the stench of death, you step over mangled sheep on your way to the center of the odd formation. In the center of the sheep lies the corpse of a man. It could be a dog. A clear jewel has been firmly pressed into his forehead, carving in the front of his caving in the front of his skull. His eyes are wide, his face contorted in a vision of fear, as if beseeching you for mercy. Though you know better, you check for a pulse. As you touch the man's skin, the jewel in his forehead dissolves, and the woods around you seems to clear. The arcane presence masking the path further up the hill has faded. Reveal ascending path. Remove all clues from each location in play. <laughs> okay, so we will reveal. Uh, ascending path is connected to each copy of altered path. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, so this is connected to altered path, of course, yeah. Um, so we can go there now. Uh, investigate, use if you succeed, instead of discovering clues, put random set aside altered paths. Mm -hmm. And what did it read? Uh, remove all clues from each locations in play. So that will be this and this. I can't get clues from those places anymore. And this has been resolved. We are at Agenda 2A. Ascending the hill. As you ascend the hill, the environment around you grows increasingly strange and otherworldly. The arcane energy feels even stronger here, crackling in the air and clawing, crawling on your skin. Clues cannot be placed on non-altered locations. An objective when an investigator enters Sentinel Peak advance. Wow. Yep. So that was my last action. We're going to go to enemy phase. There are none. So we go upkeep. And resource and a clue. Clue, actually. <laughs> resource and a card. I wish it was a clue. So, oh, mythos. 5 out of 12. Ancient Devils, again. This is ramping up really fast. And we're going to investigate. So let's be moving up to Ascending Path then. First action. And Ascending Path has a shroud of Three. Uh, so that will be four against three then. Hmm. I will draw a card. Okay. I will investigate committing the magnifying glass. So it's five against three. The bag says minus two. That is so great. 
I get the clue. And uh, yeah, I choose to take a clue instead of putting aside a path. Enemy face, there are none, so we go into upkeep. We also send a card, and we get wrecked by nightmares. Exhaust all assets you control and put wrecked by nightmares into play in your threat area. Asset you control cannot ready. Hmm. Yeah. So th this is great. I'm wrecked by nightmares. Mythos, I'm really closing in on the threshold and there's a thrall waiting for us in the path spawn location with the most clues well it is where i am so my goal let's be fighting the i can't use this uh, but on the fire axe, it's a fast, fast action. Can I use that when it's exhausted? I guess not. So we're gonna have to fight this barehanded. And fight it with two against two let's commit this so that's two that's three it's four against two a chaos bag says ready duke plus two <laughs> but at least i damaged this not this this Good. Now, um, the juice, if I will discard Wrecked by Nightmares, I'll have to suffer a attack of opportunity. Uh, yeah, I will do that. And Warren Rise and myself takes a horror and a damage from the thrall yeah and that's it enemy face the thrall will hit us again and this time i'll take a hit and warren rice will take the horror and he's done for upkeep Resource and a card, and there's Dark Horse. Okay, looking better. These will ready. And Mythos, eight out of twelve, and it's a Lupin troll. Oh, spawn at farthest location from you, so it will spawn here in the woods. Now my turn. I will use the fire axe and attack. And I will spend two resources. So that's four, six against two. The bag says. Reveal another token, cancel effects and icons of each skill cards committed to this skill test. Wow. Minus three, that's enough. So this has been killed. First action. Now I will play Dark Horse. 
and he will give me some extra bonuses while I have no resources. And I will attempt to investigate two, three, four against a shroud of three still. Wow, balance five. No. Enemy face. We have the Lupine Thrall, it's a hunter, so he will be moving towards us. Mm -hmm. Upkeep. Now I can choose not to gain a resource, but I I think I will. Yeah, let's gain a resource. Mythos 9 out of 12. And we have dissonant voices. And now I cannot play assets or events. At the end of the round, discard dissonant voices. Okay. Oh, let's do our turn first. Uh, but I can draw a card. Draw into track shoes. I'll draw another card. A moonstone. Hmm. Nothing that can help me. So let's try to investigate. It will be uh, three against three. The bag says skull minus one. Minus three if you're in an altered location. Is it altered? Uh, no, it's not altered. So we cannot get the clue. Enemy face. The dog reaches us and hits us for a hit. Uh, so, uh, drink. Let's see, it's like that. So we are removing these. And he's a uh, 4 strength, 3 health, 4 agility. Wow, and he has got ret retaliate. This is not going great, I tell you. I will have another resource. And this is discarded. Doom. 10 out of 12. Please don't be a monster. Rights howled. Revelation. Discard the top three cards of each investigator's deck. Each, investiga each, each investigator at an altered location shuffles each weakness in his or her discard pile into his or her deck. Well, I am not at an altered location. But I need to discard the top three cards. Oh no. Look at these cards. Oh. Well, I'm not at an altered, so I don't need to shuffle this in. Ha! In your face. There you go. Discard that. And my turn. I have to do something about this Lupine Thrall. So let's be fighting it and um, I will be spending two resources to amp myself up to six, seven against four. And the bag says minus two. So that's enough to kill it, not kill it, but at least give it two damage. Because the axe deals plus one damage when I have no resources. And I have absolutely nothing to help me. Uh, okay, now that will be two, that's three. Uh, that was the first action. I will suffer a uh, attack of opportunity from the Lupine Thrall to take a resource. So that will be like 
that. And um, I will attack again, use a resource. So that's two, four, five against four. Bag says, oh, minus four. And it's got to retaliate, so it's five, three. Oh man, yep. And enemy face, uh, it will attack me, and it will attack me for enough to wipe me out. I feared as much because Ashcan couldn't get things done right man okay uh, then we have to go to the book and we have to read if no resolution was reached each investigator resigned or was defeat go to resolution two so the sorcerers from dunwich seeking arcane power from beyond this realm have accomplished what wilbur and old waitley could not through blood sacrifice and indescribable experiments, the dark power the sorcerers sought is now within their reach. However, they will never get the chance to truly wield this power. In beseeching Wilbur's fathers for knowledge, they have drawn the creature forth from its extra-dimensional dim realm. Yog sothoth emerges from the open rift above Sentinel Hill, blotting out the sky and envel enveloping the world. Now it has come to Earth and it rules where humanity once thread uh, <laughs> in your campaign log record that yog sotho tore apart the barrier between worlds and became one with all reality each investigator is driven insane and the investigators loses their campaign yeah that was uh, that was fast she said wow how anticlimactic was that? <laughs> ah, well, Ashcan, you tried. You tried. At least we can give him that. But I had fun and I got to experiment somewhat with new cards again, with a new deck. But I shouldn't have lost Duke. If I had been playing um, by myself uh, on table, I would restart. Losing Duke is devastating. Because the entire synergy for Ashken is having Duke around to go into other location do the investigation and all that stuff so not having the dog around it makes Ashcan kind of just almost like a weak he's strong willpower but he has weak fight weak intellect so mitigating that with cards trying to well you live and learn Plus, the Chaos Bag was against me today. The entire game was just telling me, sorry, T-Man, you're going to lose this. You can't win them all. There you go. Let's be recalling the where Doom awaits. And surely it was Doom for Ashcan. But it was very, very fun playing the Dunwich Cycle with you. Um, we haven't, or we, we didn't reach Lost in Time and Space, because, well, we died at where Doom awaits. And for you to just showing you the path and the cycle, if you decide to get it yourself or trying it on the tabletop first, um, it's branching out and creating an uh, adventure all the time i almost feel like playing a book every time i play this game like crawling up reading a good horror uh, horror fiction book 
uh, and enjoying it all the way. Uh, once you get the hang of uh, the rules, which ain't that complicated, the game gives you a new experience every time. And they have been putting out so many cycles. There are more, more than there is here. Um, let's see, the Innsmouth Conspiracy is uh, arriving now at the doorsteps. And I still have some paths I haven't tried yet. Maybe I will, uh, maybe I will try Path of Carcosa live next next time. Who knows? If you have any wishes, if you want to see any investigators being played and any paths uh, or cycles you want to see me play on my channel, just leave a comment down below and I will consider it and do it live for you here on the channel or in in the past if you watch this another time when you have the time for it so that is it for the Dunwich cycle and Ash can try uh, so sad to see that he wasn't able to survive it but uh, you mostly don't in this game so you just have to <laughs> you have to live with the punches so thank you all for watching and hanging along with me i uh, hope you are all doing great out there and taking care of each other and keep on playing board games until next time be seeing you bye